morning everybody it is christmas shopping day i say christmas shopping i don't actually have a lot of christmas shopping to do basically everyone in my family has to save money for one reason or another so we are reining it in so fingers crossed this should actually be fairly painless but what i do need to get is a lot of christmas decorations because i've decided to revert back to my old christmas tree theme but on my new christmas tree and the new christmas tree is big as you will have seen last year so looking forward to getting quite a few decorations this week hopefully and just having a festive day i'm yet to feel festive i'm gonna be honest so hopefully i'll be feeling festive do you know what i actually haven't listened to any christmas music yeah, no, we don't really. Hello, hi. She's looking so cute today, isn't she? So, it is Lauren's birthday very soon. It's her birthday week, and basically, I don't really invite Christmas into my life until your birthday's done. Yeah, same, I guess. It's it's a bit weird, isn't but it? But I love Christmas, so. I'm surprised yeah. you don't actually. Well, I am going ice skating tomorrow. Are you? Yeah. <gasps> so jealous oh my god we are literally in the dark so you are actually having like a festive couple of days yeah that's nice for you yeah yeah it'll be fab <laughs> are you getting pre-birthday anxiety a little bit yeah, yeah. <laughs> no i'm really excited to be honest i haven't ice skated in a very long time though well in a year which is long for me yeah pray for you pray for me and my ankles yeah these are some interesting christmas decorations <laughs> they're so bright wow <laughs> these are the kind of things that my children will have you will love vegetables <laughs> <laughs> look at that so pretty in there basically <laughs> rifling through <laughs> where are the big ones? i need a big one. Oh, that one's big. big yeah i like them this right now you guys oh my god that looks so good oh. this one is still very good though guys look at this what it's just small as toasty oh. mm. this is really nice they're so sparkly so run out of hands to carry things <laughs> so i've resorted to using my neck i think i've gone mad also i really love these do i need these is it silly that they don't fit my head what do we think guys do we like this i can't decide please help me <laughs> do we think it's cute I think this is really cute. I am going to have to buy this. Oh my God, I love it. Mm. Would highly recommend the Starbucks. What is it, hot, hot 
fudge chocolate brownie, hot chocolate fudge brownie, brownie fudge hot chocolate, whatever it is, that's very good. Very good. With oat milk and vegan cream, it's just the ultimate treat. So I think that shopping trip was, I'd say successful. Did I buy gifts for anyone that, actually I got one, one gift for one person, one gift set, but other than that, was I successful in buying gifts for everybody? No, but by the end of the week I will be because I think there is a HomeSense trip on the cards. So hopefully I'll have a bit more success on that end there. Also, I did really like veer off going and getting my dad's Christmas present because it involves golf stuff and I just really can't bring myself to go into sports shops. I was like looking at one and I was like, I can't do this. I just can't do this. So um, if my brother's watching this, I will be sending you. So was I successful in buying other people gifts? No, not so much. Did I spend a lot of time in the white company picking gifts for my, picking gifts, picking decorations, for my own tree? Maybe. I can't wait to show you what I got. Oh my God, everything is so cute. excited for today sir? Uh, Oaxaca. Ooh, spoilers. Oh, <laughs> well, this is if I can book. Okay, I need food. to get us a table. Like food. The food. The food, okay. I'm very that's excited. Not, that's no surprise, that's not like <laughs> special for today. <laughs> I'm looking forward to our coffee, personally. Yeah. Because we didn't have one this morning because we ran out. It was very sad. And uh, I'm not a nice person without the coffee, I've realised. So, that, once I've been to the dentist, that is gonna be my first haul of call. It's probably, I think my dentist is probably quite thankful that I haven't had a coffee yet, to be fair, so it worked out well. Um, can we just, can we talk about this? What? <laughs> the thing on your head. I don't know what you're on about. My new hat. C what? Where did this come from? Uh, I put it in the shop. When? I literally. Wow. I just turned around and he's wearing this. <laughs> <laughs> What's going on? I got a surprise. <laughs> How's your laugh? Can you tell who is more excited to do a Christmas home sense trip? It's my Christmas shopping outfit. I just can't stop. I don't ever want to forget this moment. have arrived. Someone's still wearing his hat. Well, I wouldn't have it. <laughs> oh. oh my god. There is so much Christmas stuff. We came here really late last year and there was not this much. <gasps> I'm so excited you guys. Oh my god. Oh here we go. This is my Christmas tree theme. <laughs> Basically, just need a lot of fillers for the tree because it's so much bigger than it used to be. Have you changed the theme then? So, I'm going back to the old Christmas tree theme. So, last year I got the bigger tree and then I had everything like rustic and brown. But my old Christmas tree theme, when I had the smaller tree, was like silver and white. I'm going back to the silver and white. But obviously, the tree is so much bigger now. It's like eight foot instead of six foot. So, I've got a lot more tree to cover. Do you still have all the old stuff? Yes, so I don't need to do like a whole new theme, yeah. but I still need to add some like new things. So yeah, silver and white basically. Ryan, yes. why is there a hot sauce decoration in my trolley? I just found something else. <laughs> Ryan's Christmas tree theme is very different to mine. <laughs> oh my God. It's a shrimp. It's a lobster. <laughs> wow. I don't yeah. understand what's wrong with that. <laughs> Do you want to talk them through your theme? So my theme is 
theme. Basically. Was that the theme last year though? Yeah. Because well, I can't remember. I just know last year we definitely had we had oh, these yeah, last oh, no, year. Yeah, so it was vintagey looking. But then traditional any of, like the little food ones that I found. I yeah. Picked up. Oh yeah, were there donuts? There were donuts, yeah, like weren't donuts there? Yeah. And, I think there was gingerbread mm. men. Oh cute. There's a, I think there's a pizza mm -hmm. slice as well. A feet? This is there? Wow. I'm not having so much luck this year, guys. Not loving all of the sets. Wow. Ryan's having the best time here. That is a good one. That is a very good one. Ryan's leading the way. Oh, I'll be with you in a second, babe. I actually need a frame for my mum. I really want one that's a bit like this kind of vibe. She loves like silvery things or like this would be great, but I need it in like an A4 at the minimum. Right. Come on, Home Sense, please provide lots of very cute silvery ones, but all too small. Show me what you like. Oh, wow, what is that? I don't really know. Oh my God. <laughs> I can imagine that being in your studio. <laughs> right, we need to hit the kitchen section before it gets dark. Yeah. <laughs> the syrups where are the syrups this is all I come here for <laughs> Mary Berry had a China range who knew I can't believe I haven't seen any coffee syrups so far yeah, I am human bingo on the way to the till these are some really fruity syrups I'm not sure yeah that one looks good let's yeah we'll take We'll take that one. Okay, we can now deem this trip successful. I was I was really worried for a bit there, guys. Oh, look at this. Oh, wow. This would be a really cool gift for someone, to be fair. Caramel waffle cone is very good. I haven't had birthday cake. I'm intrigued. I also do need another cookie one, so I could get a snack. So many snacks on the way to the till. This is how they get you. They make you stand here for ages, and you're hungry, and then you end up buying everything. See, this is what happens. <laughs> <laughs> but these are actually great marshmallows. They're vegan. We like them. You're not having any more hats? I know. You've already had one hat in this vlog. How does it look? Look at the camera. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I'm getting this. <laughs> Are you serious? Yeah. <laughs> Good lord. everybody tell you what i cannot wait for this evening i need a glass of wine some cheese and crackers i am so so excited for this evening it is sunday today and tonight we are putting the christmas tree up and i honestly don't think i've been this excited to put my christmas tree up in a long time ryan's here as well and he's going to help me a little bit too we're also cooking a roast this afternoon slash this evening so it's just a really nice day, like a really nice, like festive day. We went to the garden center this morning, like I rolled over this morning and the first words I said to Ryan, the sexiest words I could have said were, do you fancy going to the garden center? <laughs> and uh, fortunately he uh, actually said yes. Otherwise I would have been a bit sad going on my own again this year. I feel like last year it was a like one in at a time kind of situation for a lot of Christmas. It was so festive so fun i just love my garden center at christmas time like they really go all out so i picked up a fair few little decorations i got a bit silly with the decorations i feel like when i was in the white company i was very serious on my decoration buying and then i was just in a bit of a weird mood this morning and i bought some fun ones as well so that there's like it's a chic christmas tree but every so often there's something that you see and you're like <laughs> but it still fits with the theme yeah it's been a busy old week 
Uh, I'm very like tired, so just bear with me for today. There's been a lot going on. I've been away. Have I unpacked my suitcase? No, I still haven't. Is it in the bedroom? Still half unpacked? Yes. I went and got my nails done. Yes. No, yes. Friday. Friday, I got my nails done. This is the gel bottle. I believe that's what the brand is called. And the color is Jam. And it's so pretty. It's like a very, very dark brown with like red glitter running through it. But from afar, it just looks like a really gorgeous, like deep blood red like a brownie that brownie red that i love that i'm always looking for in a lip color and can never quite find that nars color that i used to always wear that one my little bow in today which some of you may have seen in the what i wore in a week if you haven't watched that i will link it at the top of the screen for you to go and have a little look at because there's so many outfits in there some festive ones some chill ones I basically filmed it throughout november so there are so many outfits it's not even like a what i wore in a week where there's like seven outfits there's so many outfits what else have i been up to i went to have my eyes tested yesterday because i lost my glasses and need to get some new ones because i like to have two pairs on the go so i've still got my ray-ban ones but yeah had my eye test and it was all fine like no dramatic changes this one's actually the prescription slightly better winning and i've got the most gorgeous glasses on order and i'm so excited to show you them when they arrive it won't be for a little while though sadly but they're beautiful they're really really beautiful and i still need to show you a lot of my like festive shopping that i did both like white company home sense but also today i picked up a couple of christmas presents today i have had to do a lot of my christmas shopping online which is a little bit annoying i did want to do some of it in person but i just can't find like the specific things i'm looking for in store at the moment which is very annoying but i do feel like i've made a good head start we're keeping christmas very low-key gift wise this year so it's very nice and chill fortunately so yeah i thought i would just sit with you quickly and go through everything that i've been buying everything i've been sent and just kind of like get it all unboxed because i kind of need to sort through it all anyway so we're multitasking okay so i don't even know where to start um we'll get started with the white company stuff i had a very good time in the white company we've got a nice big bag there's a couple of other bits in here as well so i went into starbucks and picked up the toffee nut syrup i love that one i haven't had it in years now and i was so excited to see that they had it in stock and then i picked a few little well i say a few quite a few baubles so we've got these sparkly little babies i'm gonna try and keep them wrapped so that i don't get glitter everywhere yet for ryan who was with me the other day very sweet of him and i feel like today we are about to undo all of his hard work we've also got these baubles and you'll see them all on the tree in this video so that's so exciting this could be a long video but i thought it'd be nice to show you before december rather than like in the middle of december and then we have a few of these just really cute clear little baubles and i've got a bigger one of those as well so i think this is the bigger one and my tree is a very like big tree now so i think i, I can do bigger decorations without them feeling too big and then we have oh i love these these are so funny my mum used to have ones like these but like they were kind of like plasticky uh like foil effect when i was a kid but these are really funny and super super sparkly and then we have some fluffy ones i love 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 my fluffy baubles i have quite a few of them from the white company and because i'm doing my old christmas tree theme on the new christmas tree this year which is that much bigger i thought i'd get some more of these because they're my like one of my favorite aspects of the christmas tree theme oh i love these as well they're just so pretty so we're going real white company vibes but then with a little bit of like random thrown in because there are some really random things that i picked up today oh my god these are incredible so i've got two of those and then i also picked up a couple of candles which i can already smell and they smell so good i got fir tree and i love these ones from the white company that have like all of the bits in the wax i just think they're incredible and the scent in this one is eucalyptus pine and cedar they're just so beautiful this one smells so good it smells like a really good christmas tree like a really actually good christmas tree not that like fake christmas tree smell and then this one is the fireside candle which you guys will know i love so much i don't actually have a fireside candle i have all of the diffusers and didn't have a candle and i've been holding out for this one because i just think it is stunning so the scent for this one is smoked wood birch and amber i also think there's a little bit of vanilla in there as well actually this one smells smokier i would say than the diffuser the diffuser is definitely more vanilla based but it's a really light oh my god and then i also picked up the little stands for them as well so i've got a stand for these ones i'll alternate them out and i always store my candles really when i'm not using them apart from like 
three main ones that I use. And then I also got this bigger one because I have a bigger white company winter candle from last year that was a gift from, to me from my manager. So that is what I got from the white company. And then I also have a MAC lipstick, which you will have seen me swatching in boots. I've been using it, so don't worry. I didn't buy a used one. I got Honey Love and it's so good. It's basically the same color as the liquid lipstick that I use, uh, Anastasia Beverly Hills Naked. If you like the colour of the liquid lip I was just wearing before I put this on and you want something very similar but not in liquid lipstick form, definitely pick that up because it's so good. And then with Home Sense, I got a couple of boring, really, really boring kitchen bits like I got a new pot and I got a masher. So exciting. And then I didn't get any oven pans because they only did them individually and I basically need a whole new set. Whereas the pots they all do individually, but I actually only really, I could have done a set, but I only really needed one pot. So I just picked up the one pot, but I will get a full set of pans elsewhere. <laughs> I got this birthday card. How cute is that? I'm obsessed. And then I also got some syrups. We have the birthday cake one, which I'm really, really excited to try and then the cookie dough and caramel waffle fudge cone which i already know that i love so it's kind of like one that i've been wanting to try in with a set of um, ones that i really love and that's not a gift for anyone that's just a gift for me i also got this birthday card which says have a smashing birthday and it's got a pinata on it and i just love that it's so cute <laughs> So they do really cute birthday cards. I was very happy with those two. And then I got some more fun kitchen utensils. So I have a new garlic press because I lost mine when I moved. Like maybe not the last move, the move before. I basically haven't seen it in a really long time. And I just thought this one was so cool. It goes with a lot of my like dessert cutlery because I have that kind of petrol effect that some of you absolutely hate. And if you hate those, you'll also probably hate my new ice cream scoop as well. But I just thought it was really cool. I like the fact that my kitchen is very, very neutral. And then you open the cutlery drawer and it's like, matte black and then this really bougie like petrol effect i just think it's really fun and then i also got these decorations these are the only decorations in home sense that i really liked i have a few of them already but they're smaller and i thought it would be cool to have a few bigger ones as well because like i said trees bigger and then i also got this book which i just thought was so cute and i thought it would go really nicely as a coffee table book here really cute neutral aesthetic on a topic that i love so very much and then i thought i'll show you a few things that ryan picked up for his christmas tree so he has this, which I love. And then this, this is kind of like the running theme for Ryan's Christmas tree is like vintagey style food Christmas decorations. So we have a hot sauce because we love the hot sauce. And then today, today was productive not only for me because I picked up two Christmas presents for Ryan. So we have two cookbooks. He chose these, so it's not a surprise. He can hear me vlogging all of this right now. But yeah, we've got a couple of vegan cookbooks, which look so good. Okay, so we have a couple more Ryan decorations. So we have the crate of beer, and then he also picked up an apple. And we have a pear as well. I really like these. I think they're really cute. They were by Gisela Graham, who's one of my favorite like Christmas tree decoration people. And then we also have Three red hot chili peppers. And then this is where things got a little bit silly. So first up, we have this fluffy little guy and his fluffy little friend. Oh my God, they're just so cute. Oh, they're just so cute. And then we have their mum. <laughs> the tree's bigger, it can take it. They can take it. We have this guy. <laughs> These might not go, but I thought I'd just like give it a try. Then we've also got these two little guys, which I really love deer. Like deer are like one of my, like those animals that I just am obsessed with. One of the few cuddly toys I have left from my childhood is this little deer, it's so cute. I'm just obsessed with them. Oh, we have another Ryan one. This one was the piece de resistance, if I do say so myself. We have a chef's hat. And then it's Nala. <laughs> this one was really weird, but I just thought it looked like Nala and like even down to the tail. I thought it was so cute. And then we also have this little reindeer buddy. They were cute and white, so I thought I could get away with it. Can I actually, when it comes down to decorating the tree, who knows? And then we've got this one, which is probably the most rogue out of all of them. But like I said, I loved it and I thought this one was really funny. Will it go? Who knows? But I'm willing to give it a road test. So I know what you're thinking. There's a lot of gifts and a lot of fun things for me. There are not much for anyone else, but I have one delivery that has arrived. And this is a gift, not only for me, but for all of my friends. So I got sent a wine by this brand. I think it's Ami last Christmas. 
and I recently opened it. It was a bottle of red, which isn't my chosen wine of choice. I tried it, I really liked it. I then looked the brand up and I realized why I knew the artwork so well because my friend Victoria actually has a piece from the artist that did the artwork for this brand on her walls in her guest bedroom and they are like the most incredible art pieces. Their wines are vegan, so we love that. And not hideously expensive either. So I bought a crate of six. So we have two bottles of white, we have two bottles of red and two bottles of the rosé which i'm so excited to try i really hope the rosé is good and i know what you're thinking this just looks like a gift for me so far however i have three people on my gifting list this year one of them drinks rosé one of them drinks red and one of them drinks white so i thought it would be perfect to buy a crate and then I can try the white because I really wanted to try the white. And then I also get to try the rosé. I know I like the red and I knew I wanted another red. And then I've got three people on my gifting list that like one of each. Perfect. You know, we didn't have much success with the actual physical in-person shopping, but that I classed as a success. You know what else is a success, people? This from Amazon. I almost just stabbed myself in the eye. Wow. Who gave me scissors? Who thought that was a good idea? Probably the most productive thing I have bought this November. We have a new vlogging camera, so I will actually be in focus. So for anyone that's wondering, this is the Canon G7X PowerShot G7X Mark II. The Mark III is out. I don't trust the Mark III. I've heard very bad reviews on it, so I always just repurchase the Mark II. And then, this I was not expecting, but I'm very excited about it. So I think I have a little press package from the Desora team, which I'm so excited about. Cheers, on. Thanks. Oh my god, cute. We have socks. I love I'm honestly, you know me and socks at the moment, guys. I'm obsessed. Oh my god, cute. And I have a new black hoodie. Oh my god, so excited about this. We've got a size small and that actually looks like a really it's gonna be a really good fit like a really nice oversized fit it feels like similar quality to my balenciaga one that has like balenciaga across the back but that's a really nice cotton like a raw cotton oh so excited thank you perry wow the regret i have every time i do an unboxing also you may have been able to see in the background but my r place pans arrived i am you guys i'm beyond excited so these are brand new i haven't used them yet i'm so excited to use them these i have had on my list like they were going to be on my christmas list because they kept coming up for me on instagram ads and i was just so obsessed with this color and they actually dropped into my inbox and i i'm honestly just beyond excited to have these so yeah thank you very much to the our place team also i wanted to show you guys we're going to be cracking this open tonight i think this is from mns it's the vegan chocolate and coconut flavor blend this i was looking up alternatives for baileys and this came up as like a suggestion on a reddit thread so i tracked a couple of bottles of this down so yeah we are going to be opening up a bottle of this tonight i need to put another bottle away in the cupboard I'm so excited to try it. I'm basically just loving life today. Today is the best day. After a good two weeks of like Black Friday hell, I am so ready for today. I'm literally, I'm just very, very content. I also have a new necklace that I wanted to show you. This is from Nicole's collection with Boutique Minimalist and they are just the most gorgeous brand. And I picked up this necklace and then I also have this charm bracelet. How beautiful is that like look at the charms on it they're so cute they arrived the other day delivery was really quick actually very affordable i would say for the quality as well i'm really really happy with these pieces so yeah that's another little thing that arrived this week basically lots of things arrived this week would you like some uh, cheese and crackers sir oh yeah yeah, oh, yeah. <laughs>
<laughs> what are you making tonight, Chef Hurley? We are having a roast. Mmm. Roast potatoes, stuffing balls, uh, cumin carrots. Ooh. Brussels I'm meant to be on year. stuffing duty, and as you can see, that's going really well. So, Brussels sprouts. Ooh. Do we like them? Do we love them? Do we hate them, guys? Let us know. I actually have never tried a Brussels sprout. I decided I hated them what? as a child. I decided I hated them as a kid, and then I've just never actually tried one. So this is going to be a first. But I love vegetables, so which is something that's new in my adult life, really. Because broccoli used to make me gag, and now it's my favourite food. So, you know, I'm up for anything. Ooh! Oh my god! I've got... We need to go do this. Sorry. I'll be right back. I didn't actually take the little clippy things under my fireplace down last year, so uh, hopefully we're still all good. Oh, these are tiny. How did we do this? This is me making do with my janky little fireplace, which everyone asks me about all the time. If we are still here next Christmas, I will... Hello! If we are still here next Christmas, there might hopefully be an actual fireplace for me to hang these off of, but until then... This is how you make a non-fireplace look cute. So there we have it. Cute AF. My favourite new addition I think has to be this little guy. I originally had the penguin here but I had to swap it out because he just looks like he's waving and like saying hi and I just love it. And then Ryan's favourite is this one. This little guy up here. <laughs> I'm really happy with everything on the tree. It's very very cute. everybody I just realized I haven't ended this vlog I have just spent the morning filming my festive what is the video choosing my Christmas and New Year outfits plus wedding guest outfits something along those lines I might have to make it shorter and snappier but naturally after having filmed I think about 10 to 12 looks that are festive that are glam some that are borderline uncomfortable, I'm naturally back in my comfies. And I've just actually put my shoes in the Christmas tree all for the sake of Instagram. Can you see? There we go. Yeah, just making sure I get my money's worth out of them. They're now a Christmas tree decoration as well as a pair of shoes. I know there are some germaphobes out there that are going to lose their absolute minds at my shoes being in the Christmas tree. Doing it for the gram though, hun. I'm also contemplating putting my sparkly hairband that I've also been wearing, which is back there, in the Christmas tree as well. I'm just making it a full-on festive glam outfit Christmas tree. Would that be weird? I'm not sure. But anyway, that is gonna be it for me today. I hope you've enjoyed seeing what I got up to over the past week or so. I hope you've enjoyed all the festiveness. We are trying to bring you some festive joy all in one video. So I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you're having the best day and I'll see you again very, very soon. Love you, bye. Oh, also I forgot to say that vegan Bailey's stuff from M&S, amazing. If you could all not run out and buy it straight away though so that I can actually get some backup stock, that would be fab. Thanks. Thank you.